What's that? Something new? I don't know what you mean. Just kidding. This is obviously Dancing Women's Hysteria, and you just witnessed my new introduction. This is a project I've been working on for a very long time, and I'm very excited to finally finish it, as well as apparently just now premiere it uh, to all of you. Very excited about it. Yes, it looks like a fourth grader drew it, and yes, it's only 25 seconds long, but I'm still very proud of it. This took me approximately one month uh, about one and a half months to learn the software and then fully design that 25 seconds uh, to make to make a basic animation. Now of course there were some breaks in there to handle adult responsibilities and other things going on in my life and some time to ponder about how to draw hands because I'm not very good at drawing hands in general so that was something that took some extra time and every once in a while I just had to take a break to think about how am I going to do this? Um, but it still took a tremendous amount of time. So some background. I have always loved animated films and when I was younger I got teased a lot for liking animated films. Um, even as like a teenager and a child to like current day. But you know what? Children don't animate cartoons. Adults do. So just in that respect, obviously there's other adults that like cartoons and animation because they're able to create them. So I would argue that because adults create cartoons and animation, it doesn't mean it's just for children. So I think that's a new way of thinking that's really helpful. Animations and cartoons can be for all ages. Because I had that personal experience, I've always kind of admired animators, artists, um, just because I'm sure growing up they got a lot of the same criticisms and they've still been able to power through it and create amazing and sometimes very powerful and moving works um, in the animated art form. So I've always had a tremendous respect for animators, but I can definitely say now that after spending a month and a half sitting on my computer every night making teeny tiny tedious little clicks and ticks and just trying to make a story through pictures that I have a tremendous new respect and admiration for anyone that does animations. This project was hard, it was challenging, and at times it was very, very frustrating. <laughs> so just to get on my little soapbox just for a minute, I think it's time that we stop saying cartoons are for children and putting people down for this and actually start appreciating animation for what it is. It is moving storytelling that is really more of a piece of art in motion. Um, it's no different than like high fashion garments that people make um, or I don't know like a Picasso painting that just sits still except that it's like the Picasso painting but it moves and it actually tells the story that the author is trying to express. I, th I honestly think it's just beautiful and in fact in the comment section just to show your appreciation let's give a shout out to either your favorite an animation cartoon or your favorite animator um, just to kind of show them some appreciation and give them a little pat on the back um, for me personally my favorites would probably be the team that worked on the last unicorn and also pink hannah mori who did a lot of the art for the uh, Mermaid Melody Peachy Peachy Pitch series. And with that, I am off my little soapbox. <laughs> so now let's talk about this animation, the animation I just created, and sort of what it means to me. I wanted this to be an introduction to my channel, and sort of some of the goals and things that I'm aspiring to have this channel be as time continues. So the introduction animation shows three different scenes. Uh, the first scene is a Japanese Nihon Buyo dancer, or what kind of looks like a geisha. And I wanted this to sort of be my goal to share about Japanese traditional arts and handicrafts. Uh, it also has the letters spelling out dancing. Uh, so this is sort of a goal to continue practicing dancing and hopefully eventually showcase that some more on this channel. The song that I picked is a little bit of a traditional sound, but it's more modernized. And I wanted that to kind of show that we can take traditional culture 
um, from the past and from ancient cultures and bring it into modern day and it still has a place and it can still fit in. So that's part of goal number one. So the second scene is a mermaid uh, singing and above her is the word whimsy uh, being spelled out. So this is to sort of show my goals and my obvious interests in things that are related to singing or costuming or cosplay, uh, pop culture, uh, and it, basically anything cute and kawaii. Uh, as my last video indicated, I love cute things and sort of sharing things that I find out and about that are really cute that maybe you would enjoy as well. So I like sharing that with people, so expect to see more videos related to that as well. And then for the song, though I am not a video gamer myself, um, I did pick something that's kind of happy and poppy to sort of show the whimsical anime magical girl feel that I wanted that s section of the scene to have. And the third and last scene is to sort of show a more casual look as well as spell out Styria. And this is short for Wisteria, or the purple flowers that are hanging down above her. Uh, so Wisteria are one of my favorite flowers. There's lots of flowers that I like, but Wisteria are one of my favorites. And I love traveling to go and see them whenever it's possible. Um, so hopefully this section is kind of to go towards showing a little bit of daily life activities, as well as travels and different places that I go to and see. So hopefully there will be some more travel, and that's what this section is supposed to show. And then the music choice is sort of a more relaxing and calming uh, song to show looking for balance and sort of inner peace, which is something that I feel like most of us can relate to. Everyone's trying to find balance in their life. So hopefully with this one, uh, you can relate to trying to find some calm tranquility. Anywho. Thank you for watching this far, I really appreciate it, and I'm looking forward to hopefully bringing you more vicarious journeys and adventures here in the future. Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the next videos coming up, and I guess I will leave you with another view of the animation, and I hope you enjoyed, and have a good rest of your day! Bye! <laughs>